What is up guys? I am back with what I'm going to go ahead and call Operation Corona. So, I've been talking about fixing up all this wiring and everything for a while. Um, this is actually day two of Operation Corona. That's why there's a few empties over there. But, so I didn't go super in depth with this uh, on kind of that intro video, but this fuse box came out of the RAV4 with the engine. Um, it actually kind of sat, I think, on this side of the motor um, near the ECU and everything. So it actually worked out fairly well. But there's a lot of wiring going between this fuse box and the engine that I'm finding out that I don't need the more that I dig. And then, like, this is a super nasty rat's nest down here. But when you actually kind of bundle it up and everything, there's only, I think it's like 15 wires right here that are doing anything out of this fuse box. The rest of these, if you look, like all these are snipped already from when I did the install. Um, I had the harness on the floor in my kitchen and I was going through my, my wiring book um, full of schematics and figuring out what I didn't need. And so a ton of it's already snipped. So I've got a, a bunch of these relays and everything aren't even being used, they're just there. So right now, my goal is to get rid of this box entirely, replace it with a couple of these little fuse box guys like this that you can connect them and make them as big as you want along with a couple little relays that I can just um, mount in the trunk back here. So last night I went through this middle connector, the gray one. It's now lost forever in the car and I'm one handed. Ah, okay, I got the black wire. There we go. So I went through this connector. Um, I found in the book that this is BA4. It plugs directly into the top of this, um, this box. And check that out. Out of all these wires, there's like nine or ten wires in here. I don't know. Public math. But only one of them is even needed. And I can probably even tell you what the heck it is. So this is the book I keep talking about. If you're doing the swap and you're doing your own wiring, go on eBay and get this for glare and get this for the uh, year making model of your engine because it will help out a lot so you can see at the top here 2gr engine control connector is ba4 there it is black wire ba4 so that tells me right there that, that wire just went it was like, like basically a pass through and it was getting power off of the 10, 10 amp EFI fuse, which is in there. So I will need to have a, that fuse in my replacement box. And it's going to, it's that top black wire, goes all the way across this page, feeding the VSV, which is gone. VSV purge, gone. VSV A, C, I, S, blah, 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 gone and mass airflow so we actually care about that so we do need to keep that circuit in play just to power the mass airflow but wait there's more it continues on to the next page heated oxygen sensor um, bank two sensor two sensor two on each bank is the downstreams they're gone too so that doesn't matter so the only thing that that wire is going to be doing in my car is the mass airflow so i'll keep it but later on look i've actually kind of redrawn all of these that was first iteration and then cleaned up. So we had a 10 amp AM2, where is that at on here? Hold on, we're gonna find it. There's mass airflow. This says 10 amp EFI1. Let's check that again. Oh, I'm just reading the wrong thing. That's 10 amp EFI 1. 10 amp EFI 1 going to a mass airflow sensor, and that's voltage positive V plus. So that's already drawn in here, and that's actually going to get fed through this relay here. Jeez, I must have been drinking Operation Bud Light or something when I did this one because I should have labeled that relay. A lot of these other relays are all labeled Ignition 2 relay. Um, yeah, 
um, close open relay or whatever. I still don't remember what that one is. It, it, it baffles me every time I see it. Um, yeah, but they're all labeled except for the mystery one. I'll have to look at my drawings and see what the heck that's supposed to be and label that. That one, start a relay, like they're all on there. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how I've got it drawn out for the integration piece between the MR2 and the 2GR. So really here I am just going through connector by connector. Um, they've got drawings of what the connectors look like so you can figure out which one's which. And then from there, you can start looking, once you know the number or whatever, you can start referencing all the different diagrams. Like right here is one for like AE4. Like that's just a random connector. Um, and I showed you like BA4 right there. Um, finding out which wires are going where and if you need them or not. And if I don't need them, I'm snipping them. And then, like a lot of these, I actually only snipped at one end. If they, if they go to the ECU, I've left them in here. So like, all of these were some that I snipped out of just that one connector last night, but they're still connected on the ECU end. And then what I do is I make sure nothing's gonna ground out or anything, um, hook everything back up. And since the car runs and I've got my OBD2 port, just chilling on the manifold there, I can fire up the car and check the codes, you know, make sure I didn't snip the wrong thing on accident because, you know, I'm an expert and all, but I totally, uh, sniffed my coolant temp sensor line, like last, the first, when I first started getting going on this project. And I actually snipped the alternator, um, little exciter wire too, so I wasn't charging. So all sorts of shenanigans the first night. Uh, my car didn't want to run for crap. Um, but having the OBD2 working um, helped me out a lot. I was able to troubleshoot it pretty quickly and figure out what the heck I had going on wrong. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to go through the remaining two little connectors on here that feed through the top of it. Try and match it up and label everything that's coming out the bottom as well. Uh, once I got everything labeled and only the essential stuff is left, probably gonna snip them and take that fuse box out and then start wiring in my own stuff, probably in the trunk so it just cleans up everything under the engine bay and hopefully get rid of that rat's nest. So here we go. All right, so this is so tedious. Um, I found like one or two wires that I took out and then I just tried to kind of clean up the harnesses so it doesn't look so much like a rat's nest. So this is kind of what I got going on now. Battery's connected right now, so I kind of got to be careful mainly with this guy. This is a battery wire right here, so don't touch that to any metal. Went ahead and plugged everything back in so you can see it doesn't look terrible when it's actually all together. And then, um, I put the bottom of this guy back on here just to kind of give you an idea of how many wires I've actually got coming in and out. So, I mean, on the top, this is the entire bundle that's coming in. And on the bottom, it's just these ones. Where'd it go? There it is. To the side. Man, it's hard to do this one-handed. Here we go. So, might be hard to see that and a little dark, but I think I count like 14 wires right there is all. So there's really not a lot happening in that box anymore definitely doesn't justify the size and then behind it man that looks terrible on film <laughs> the uh rat's nest is pretty bad where it all goes through that bulkhead so i'm kind of getting over this whole onesie twosie wire thing i am about ready to just start labeling them uh, which is masking tape and snipping them and getting that box out of here and then start just rewiring from scratch um I just hate to do it, you know? Yeah, I just like really hate to dig in that far because right now the car runs and so I can take four or five wires out a night and when I'm done, I can start the car up. I've got my OBD link plugged in so I can check and see if there's any new codes, see if any of the PIDs are doing anything weird with fuel trims or with battery voltages or anything like that. And I can kind of track it down. It's kind of in the short-term memory. Hey, I messed with this one connector tonight, so what did I do wrong? Once I start cutting into the entire harness and ripping out 30 wires, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, I, th I think I'm to that point now though. Like if I'm gonna go any further with it, I think that's where we're at. I mean, the rat's nest seems to get worse as I go. It's like I'm removing wires, but as I'm sitting there disturbing 
everything that's kind of nice, it all kind of just goes and it keeps just growing and growing. So I think I'm there. Operation Corona is about to get real. I think my sprinklers just turned on. That's weird. I didn't think they were on. Huh. Maybe it's the neighbors. But anyway, it's about where I'm at, so stay tuned.